This is Justin Miller with Train by Tex. Thanks for watching my videos. Okay, Justin JM Diagnostics again. We are doing another one. I've been asked to do a few more things that people want to see. The first one we're going to do has brought, been brought to my attention that there are other ways to save than using the snipping tool in your software for your windows. There is the options inside of Pico itself that I was unaware of, so we're going to cover that now. Go up here to the file, go to Save As, go past this window, and here in your data files, right here in its drop down, there's your JPEG. You can save it in any one of these forms also, but that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to go up here into your Edit, and then you have these options for Copy. We can copy the entire window, we can copy just the text or just the image. So that's how we do the saving. The next one is inverting the waveform. Now the place you're going to see this most and use it the most would be your secondary ignition captures when they get captured and they're in an inverted form and you want to see them in the normal form. What you want to do is go up to your tools here, go to your math channels. You have an invert, you can choose what you want to invert what we want to do is we want to create so we'll go here and then we pick which channel we want and we have to tell it we want it to be minus a then we can pick the color let pick a different color like red and there's some math you can put in there to change if you want to do that if you're capable of doing the advanced part of it so then we click on that, tell it to go OK, and now we have an inverted pattern. We can mess around with that pattern right here, just like we could before, and change the scaling if you want to see it different. The next one I wanted to cover is RPM. So on RPM, what you want to do, well, let's go to this other one first. This is a bad fuel pump. We're not going to analyze the, the pattern. I'm sure we've all seen this. It's pretty common. What you want to do is you take this cursor, put it on one spot on the pattern, and then go to the next repeating part right there. And over here in the right-hand corner, it'll tell you the RPM that that fuel pump is spinning. This is good for deciding if a fuel pump is bad or it's not spinning fast enough for whatever reason that's up to you to determine why but that's how you get your RPM reading quick and easy you don't have to do any crazy math it's good to know the math but that's how you do it on the Pico for a quick and easy way of getting it done the next we're going to go over overlays and uh, reference waveforms so here's our pattern we had in the last one what we want to do here is we want to create one and then we'll come back and we'll look at it compared to. So you go up to the tools again, reference waveforms, and I've got a couple in here I've already made for use on this. But how we do this is we can duplicate and then we can come in here and we can set it to what we want it to be. We can make it black and then we export it to a file and then we can come back later or we have one that we've already got we want to import it here's the ones I've made it's here it's the same one as that one it's just done again now we click that on and we go OK and there it is it's in the background here we have to adjust this so let's go down here and adjust it so you can see it now if you want to compare it to the one that we have as the reference you can compare it obviously our time base is a little different but you get the idea that that's how you would do it I uh, hope this helps and uh, if you have any more suggestions of what you would like to see we can see what we can come up with and until next time thanks